Halfway through the state's fiscal year, revenues are running about a billion dollars over expectations. And by the end of the fiscal year, it's probably going to be two billion dollars. Does that mean the state has a lot of extra money to spend as Governor Jerry Brown works out his proposed state budget for the next fiscal year and the legislature receives it next month? Not necessarily. Even though the economy is perking right along and revenues are going up, stuff that's built into the budget system, most of it in the Constitution, will actually siphon off a lot of that money or direct how it has to be spent. A big chunk will go to schools, for example. And a Proposition 2, passed by voters in November, will eat up about another $4 billion or so, place, placing it in reserves or requiring it to be spent on a reduction of debts, particularly the debt that's owed to retired state employees for their health care. So that means there's actually not going to be a lot of extra money running around, and that's going to frustrate a lot of people who are already lining up, thinking they're going to get a lot of money from an expanding economy. Health and welfare advocates, for example, and the state's colleges and universities are already demanding more money. So even though the state's doing well, that doesn't mean that fashioning a budget that stays balanced is going to be any easier than it was back in the days when the recession was cutting revenues. The politics of plenty are just as difficult as the politics of penury.